this is James from tracyandmat.co.uk and from boxings.com and I'm here with a plain white box and this uh, actually contains the HTC Flyer, HTC's first tablet which has uh, just arrived with me so we shall uh, see what we have in the box. It, this obviously isn't a retail box um, but I would imagine the contents are probably going to be the same as the uh, device has gone on sale today. So there on top we actually have the, uh, the Flyer itself so we shall take that out and we'll come back to that in just a minute. Get it out. There we go. Let's see what else we've got in here. So. Very neatly packed. We have sync charge cable so one end USB the other end uh... oh actually it looks I don't know what that is I thought it was going to be micro USB but it looks a little bit different oh we'll have to come back to that or maybe I should have done my uh, my homework I'm sure it probably is but uh, anyway we've also got uh, Wired he headset, which is uh, looks fairly standard HTC like. So, uh, at one end we have the uh, four pole three and a half mil jack, with the uh, the inline button in the middle, which has the uh, which allows you to skip tracks, answer phone calls, that sort of thing. And then we have uh, HTC headphones, which uh, see. HTC Innovation on them, so they look fairly typical HTC. Um, we'll obviously test those out in the review. Next up, we have a plug, which is a slightly different design to what we've seen uh, before with HTC's phones, but uh, essentially it's a, a plug. And then we have here the HTC, uh, I think it's called the Scribe, isn't it? You can call it a stylus or a pen. So we'll, uh, as you can see, there's a couple of buttons uh, on there. We, sh we saw this demoed at uh, Mobile World Congress back in uh, February when the device was actually announced. And then, last but not least, we have a rather nice case with a, with a flap. Oh, that's quite cool. Anyway. All right, so we'll put all this, these bits and bobs to one side just for a moment. And, and also, then we'll have a closer look. Oops, a daisy. That wasn't very good, was it? Closer look at the, uh, the tab itself. So, here we go. So on the front, um, the only thing we can really see here is uh, the front facing camera. There is a, uh, what looks like a proximity sensor um, next to it. Over on the back, we have the, uh, the camera lens there. No flash. Um, on, the, on the top, or the right, depending on which way you're holding this, we have the, uh, we have the, the volume controls up and down there. Then on the opposite side we have nothing at all. Over on the bottom we have the uh, the slot, which uh, I'm sure it's uh, I'm sure it's micro USB. It just looks a little bit different. And then on the top here we have the uh, the power key and the uh, the head the the headphone port. So there's a little light flash in there, so maybe this is on. It is, and it's got a low battery, which uh, is not great news. Only six percent left, but we'll. Uh, We'll have a, a, a quick look around it. So, unlocking is done like so. We obviously have to go through the setup. Insert a SIM card to use 3G. Well, we won't bother with that now. Um, so really we should connect to the Wi-Fi which I'll just put the, uh, the password in now <clears throat> just 
take me a couple of seconds for that to connect. Zoom in a bit, shall we? There we go, it's connected. <clears throat> So underneath the screen here we've uh, we've got some uh, touch sensitive buttons, um, they're not physical buttons. We've got a home, we've got a menu and we've got a back. Down on the right hand side here there's a little logo for the uh, um, for the uh, scribe as well, I'm not quite sure what that does. So essentially we've presented uh, as you'd expect with, with HDC Sense, um, in fact we might do it this way around, it looks, uh, it looks more phone like that way. I'm going to zoom out a bit now. There we go. So it uh, looks reasonably familiar. Um, obviously we've got the uh, notifications bar at the top and we've got the uh, seven panes. Like so. Down at the bottom here we've got uh, five uh, tabs. One on the left hand side is the menu. We've got a notes one. This clearly I would imagine can be customised, um, and we can put the personalised one as well. Uh, extremely similar to what we've seen uh, before on the HTC phones. We'll have a quick jump into the menu and see what we've got here. Uh, Amazon calculates calendar, camcorder, camera. We'll have a quick look at the camera interface. And again, that looks very much like we've uh, we get on the uh, on the phones. Again, we can touch the screen to. Uh, to zoom in, takes the picture very quickly. That looks pretty impressive. Obviously, we'll uh, go into more depth in, in, into more depth within the actual review. Um, we've got the car panel, clock, connected media. Oops, battery's dying. Doc mode downloads Facebook. We've got French stream gallery. And, oh, we've got no preloaded photos on there. Oh, that's a shame. Gmail, Google Search, HTC Hub, HTC Lights, the internet. So we'll have a quick look at the uh, the web browser and uh, I'll go to Tracy and Matt's. Go. looks pretty good doesn't it double tap zoom we've got the text reflow on here which is quite nice um, I didn't have this on the zoom uh, or on the, uh, the the playbook but we've got it here it's nice to see and obviously we can pinch the zoom as well if you expect uh, bookmarking options there's the bookmarks very nice uh, yeah Looks uh, much the same as we've seen recently on the uh, uh, HTC Incredible S and on the uh, Desire S. Back into the menu. Oops, if I press the right button. <clears throat> okay, where were we? Uh, kid mode. I don't know what that is. Will this give us some kind of protection? Or smartphone. You like it. It's perfect. Then what happens? Your kids get their hands on it and all of a sudden you don't know what they're clicking, who they're calling or emailing, or whether your shiny new purchase will come back or tap. Wouldn't it be great if these things came with a kid mode? Something that would protect your device and contain your kids in a safe, fun, and educational environment? Yes, it would. <coughs> Excuse me. Can't be doing with watching all of that now though, but we'll uh, we'll cover that in the review. Uh, latitude locations, we've got mail in here, we've got uh, maps, the market, messaging, Google, navigation, news, news and weather, a note, PDF viewer, people, places, office, what's this? Oh, no files anyway. Settings, oh, we've got the, the pen settings there as well, so... Uh, I think what we'll do probably do is do a demo video with using the pen at some point. 
set up snap booth. Oh, I don't know what that is either. Oh, hello. Cooey. <laughs> this is obviously where we can uh, probably do some tweaking of uh, the photographs. Uh, we've got Soundhound Stocks, Google Talk, Task Manager, Teeter, Transfer. We've got uh, Twitter preloaded there. Voice recorder, voice search, watch, weather. We've got the uh, the Wi-Fi hotspot. And we've got the YouTube uh, application, which will just be the uh, the standard Android one that we've we've seen before. First impressions. It seems very nice. Um, it's obviously extremely similar to. Uh, to using HTC Sense on a phone, we've just got a, uh, a much bigger form factor here with a few extra features thrown in. Um, feels reasonably well built. It feels quite heavy as well, though. Um, I don't actually know the uh, the actual weight, but what we will do is over the weekend I'll probably do uh, another couple of demo videos, including uh, using the scribe, um, and then. The HTC Flyer is going to be uh, shipped off to Gareth in Northern Ireland and he's going to do the review. So uh, watch out for that, hopefully in the uh, the next week or two. But in the meantime, thanks very much for watching. Fit Defender is dedicated to protecting people's digital lives, so working with Unboxings.com to help preview and review the latest technology is a perfect fit.